Hello everybody! Today I will give you some tips on how to make your shadow boxing more meaningful and less boring. How to make it more interesting because I get a lot of questions on how to make your shadow boxing more fun, how to not get bored when you're shadow boxing. So first I'd like to share to you what I do before I do my shadow boxing training. So the night before, I, I try to do this every night. I try to, to, to assess my training, my, my evening training. So I try to list down the problems that I, that I have during training. Like is my footwork off or I need to work on my jab or why do I react slowly, uh, I have a problem with a certain kind of combination, so things like that. It's important to start with those things so that the next shadow boxing training, you have something to work with. There you go. Next is, I'd like to share to you one practice technique that I actually learned from my classical music training but actually it originated from the martial arts this is called slow practice so slow practice was used in martial arts as well as in the olympics in the ancient times uh, slow practice is when you do certain movements very slowly and very deliberately to master them so what happens when you slow practice uh, you do the movements correctly you're aware of the nuances of the movements and what's important is you repeat them because actually when you repeat movements the wrong way this impedes your learning and the next time you do it it becomes like a hit or miss kind of thing you don't really perform the movements correctly all the time so it's it's random um, what happens when you slow practice? So, and when you repeat the slow practice, that's correct. So, for in, for instance, you do like jab, straight, hook, fifty times correctly. So you turn your knuckles inward, you you sort of like throw your shoulders in, and then with your hook, you do the hook correctly. You do that, re uh, repeat that movement correctly for maybe fifty times. What happens is your brain creates these neural pathways. These neural pathways are important in sort of like drilling the correct movement in your mind. And that only happens when you repeat the movement correctly the same way each time. And how to make, how to ensure that you do the movements correctly through slow practice. Because when you do it fast, you sort of let go of different things that are important in the movement. Especially when you don't really master, when you haven't mastered the movement yet. Especially like your, your punches and your footwork. Next is when you repeat movements correctly, you build uh, what they call the myelin sheath. And these, uh, this myelin sheath is what acts as your brain's protection uh, from the different chemicals that your brain releases when you're under stress like adrenaline and cortisol so what happens is aside from you being efficient uh, with your movement is you actually perform better under stress because if you notice for example during your fight or during the performance you sort of like lose everything that you practice and you feel like you're, you're starting from scratch that happens when your brain is under stress you sort of lose all your composure and lose everything that you learned but with slow practice you you protect your brain from that and you become lucid you become um you perform better under pressure you still for uh you still perform your movements correctly and you have your timing in place you have everything sort of like ironed up so that's it slow practice i think is interesting you can you can practice that uh, during your next shadow boxing training uh i don't know but musicians or dancers or people who have this internal beat you can just count like one two three 
for your jab straight hook or if you just want to do your jab just repeat the movement so actually slow practice is only as good when you are learning a movement but i don't recommend doing slow practice uh, all the time because you need to be explosive you need to, to do your combinations um at a certain speed because the goal in boxing is for you really to move fast and to be to be explosive so uh, slow practice is good when you are learning when you are still a student in the game or even me i still slow practice when i sort of like forget the different things that or the fundamentals actually because even when you've been training for years sometimes you tend to to overlook some other things uh, the nuances of the movements especially okay so what i can recommend for those people who can't grasp the concept of slow practice is a metronome I have this because I'm a musician, but you can download a metronome in your app, in your phone. And what it does is it gives you a beat. So my beat here is set on 75. So what you do is you execute the movement in time with the beat. So you have that beat. Jab, straight, hook, rest. Jab, straight, hook, and jab straight hook you can do it as many times as you want as long as you execute the movement properly then what you can do is when you've done it a certain tempo you make it faster now this is 100 jab straight hook jab straight hook when you've done that perfectly with that tempo you can increase it to 120 hook jab straight hook so on like until you uh perform it in its actual speed so there there's my shadow boxing tip to make your shadow boxing more meaningful i hope you enjoyed my tip and see you next time bye